Hello, my dear friends. On the 30th of September 2018, a great event, the first presentation of Anastasia Nova's book, took place in the city of Almaty, Kazakhstan. Participants of uh, Alatra IPM from different Kazakhstan cities, such as Almaty, Ust Kamenogorsk, Talgar, Kostanay, and Pavlograd, actively participated in organizing and preparing for this event. All seven books from the Sensei series were introduced in this presentation. Briefly, in a couple of words, I will tell you what these books are about. I will tell you about Sensei 3, written by Anastasia Nova. It is a sequel to the first two. Yulia and I want to tell you about Sensei 4. Active readers wholeheartedly shared with the audience the enormous understandings they have found in these books. Anastasia Nova's books are so inspiring that you devour them. First of all, they are so easy to read, although there is a lot of information. Secondly, the information is very useful. This book is for everybody. It is very easy to share, because this knowledge can be shared with absolutely everyone. And each person can find something that speaks to him in this book. What motivates people to search for these books? Once you read them, you want to say something yourself, you want to share. You cannot even imagine. By now, almost the entire world has response to these books. Because something inside trembles, feeling the knowledge given in these books. Indeed, after reading these books, you begin to think, how do I live in every single day? What do I choose in every day? What dominates in me? How honest am I with myself? Particular emphasis was placed on the book Alatra, and since it is impossible to reveal all the depths of knowledge from this book, only several important topics were touched on. I would like to pay special attention to the subject of science erased in this book, which revealed the knowledge. What is it all about? What are these signs? And why do they exist in this world? There is also an energy structure of a human. And if you envision it in three-dimensional view, it looks approximately like the top and the base of a pyramid. In fact, these are energy and informational structures, and they are, so to say, a part of ourselves. This book gives practical advice on what you need to do to feel their effect and to be able to resist them. And when you start to practice meditations given in the books, you start to control these structures and you are always in good mood. You really start to live here and now. We can talk about the Alatra book a lot, but it is better to read it for yourself, as who knows? what personal questions of yours this book can give answers to. In addition to the books by Anastasia Nova, the project of Alatra International Public Movement were introduced and several videos from the Alatra TV website were presented. The presentation was carried out in a warm, friendly atmosphere and aroused keen interest in the books presented. It also gave an opportunity to many people to come into contact with the primordial knowledge, to make new friends and gain valuable experience in heart-to-heart -heart communication. Organizing of such events is a good example of mutual creative activity and unity of people in love and joy, unity in spirit. Within the framework of the Pyramid Scientific Research Project, a second international experiment was conducted at the Alatra International Public Movement Coordination Center to study the possibility of the telepathic information transmission at a distance. About 800 people from 103 countries participated in the experiment. More powerful settings of the pyramid apparatus were applied during the current experiment in comparison to the first one. Also, numbers from 0 to 9 were used at the information for transmission. Participants of the Alatra International Public Movement from different countries of the world 
were present at the experiment location as independent observers. The experiment results turned out to be very unexpected. To learn more, please watch the video of the second international permit experiment, the results. The experiment aroused interest among people from different countries and generated a wave of active dissemination of this information in general public. Using the internet, print and radio mass media, people themselves were promoting this research event, so a lot of people were able to learn about it. This did not just reflect in the number of experiment participants, but also showed how one common cause encourages unity and collaborative interaction at an international level. Such experiments show a new view on a modern science and present an opportunity to more accessible study of the main question, what is the true nature of a human? What kind of information prevails in mass media today? Such will our society become tomorrow. In the world community, there is a lack of true information about the essence of the events that are happening. In this regard, internet technologies and the genre of journalism are a simple but effective way to spread knowledge among the general public. But in order to use the potential of this direction, there needs to be participation of each person who came into contact with the grains of primordial knowledge. Knowledge. At the Elatra International Public Movement's Coordination Center, there was a meeting of active participants of the project Good is Where You Are newspaper, which has united people from different countries. The importance of spreading knowledge and filling the information space with positive information was discussed at this meeting. After all, this is an opportunity for everyone, regardless of their profession, to join the creative activity in the mass media. It is the social responsibility of every person to start popularizing only creative information, to talk about the necessity of spreading it about the importance for the person's life to bring only creation and good to people around them, then positive change in the world will occur immediately. And in fact, it's really easy to do. Good is where you are newspaper is another new and old direction that volunteers of Alatra International Movement are developing. Everyone will agree that we have really been missing kind, sincere information thanks to which we can convey information that fills every person. Also, I would like to say that, as stated in the program, consciousness and personality, from the inevitably dead to the eternally alive, there is no more grey. Therefore, all the materials that fill the newspaper are pure knowledge. This is the knowledge from the books and programs. It doesn't mean that no one can write their own articles and share their experiences. On the contrary, it is very welcome. However, it is very good when the experience comes through the prism of knowledge. When I came here and started working, I was very surprised at what was happening. Because working for some time professionally in professional editions, newspaper editorial offices, I know how difficult this process is. Even when a team of professionals gathers and they work every day for eight hours in the same room, that's any issues are resolved very quickly. And at the same time, there are always a lot of editions, a lot of edits, and still, in the end, errors show up when publications come out. While here people get together, for whom in general this is a new venture, and they live not only in different cities, but also in different countries, and they have no opportunity to communicate with each other directly, but work remotely. And with all this, a product of very good quality comes out, and it comes out not in one, but already in different countries. I was amazed at that. I simply admire these people who come, who are doing this, and who manage, despite all sorts of difficulties, to get the job done. Basically, for me, working with newspapers is such a feedback of my sincerity. To put it bluntly, of my relationship with God, because what I put into the article, 
What I put into work with the program is just one big process. A newspaper is a good way to talk about all projects. Fragments of the programs research for the Universal Grain project. All these can be the contents of the newspaper. This is such a treasure. This fills me with such inner joy, because in this newspaper there are both good news and creative activities. Nowadays, it is very important to spread information and knowledge and share it with other people. It is clear that Internet is a strong base where information is disseminated very quickly. But at the same time, such small and compact printed editions are really very important. Consciousness was telling me that in the modern world, everything has already been perfected to such a degree. Mobile phones, internet, laptops, who would be interested in reading a newspaper? Maybe this is interesting for older people, but it was really interesting to read this newspaper for me personally. And young generation also showed interest in reading it. All of us together, we are a great power that can do so many things. And movement in one direction removes all obstacles on the way. The most important thing is to have sincere desire and an inner need in what you're doing. We often organize presentations of the books by Anastasia Nova in different cities of Gomel region. When people come up to the table with books, they usually want to take some information to read when they leave. At first we were giving away motivators, stickers and calendars. And we simply realized that we need to provide more information than a motivator can give. So once again, we turned to CC, told them that we need a newspaper, and we were given a mock-up model and a program. And the kind of information that we want to share. So we chose what each of us liked. Right now, I am at a point when there is nothing but a great desire to start. I have already contacted my city, everyone got really interested and there is a team eager to start this project. Also, I wanted to mention for those guys who also had this thought to publish a newspaper in their city, that we do everything together. Starting with selection of articles and ending with the last picture. There are already big teams in other cities and with different experience. So it is even possible for cities and countries to unite and issue the newspaper jointly. I think that girls from America and Ireland will also share their experience. The project Good is Where You Are newspaper helped me greatly in working on myself. And I got practical experience on what is meant by the one who wants to will achieve more than the one who knows how. Because it is so amazing when you get some task and realize that it should be done. And here you've got a task to bring something to life. You have no idea how to make it happen. And a lot of thoughts appear like, what? I can't handle that. This task is beyond my abilities. Only a professional can do this. And despite all these concerns from the consciousness, you simply tell yourself, I will try. And you start trying and suddenly everything works out wonderfully. It was the first time I experienced this kind of teamwork when each of us who worked on the newspaper and completed his area of work and at the same time with one's attention strengthened and amplified the main common goal. The creation of the new issue of Seed of Knowledge. The newspaper seemed to exist out of time and space. It was being worked done practically 24 hours a day, passed from one time zone to another, worked and stopped even for a minute. And this experience showed me that we really can do a lot when we strive to reach one common goal.
I am inspired by the fact that this newspaper can be created by people from different parts of the world. It is so interesting that one can be online and help each other, decide and discuss something together, share one's experience, opinion or vice versa, listen to what other people are sharing. How else uh, is this newspaper valuable? Uh, by the fact that it is designed by us in each a way that every person living in his city could add uh, the information about any events that are taking place there about the actions of proactive people inspired by the knowledge from that very region. We are inspired by the fact that we can all do it together. Participation in projects helps and work on oneself because it helps one to step back from their job or everyday routine and to dive into creative and cognitive process in which you learn a lot of new things where you communicate with people on a wave of goodness. We decided to create Good is Where You Are, the Crimea newspaper. Here it is already printed. We have made it together with the participants from Crimea. It came out very cheerful, kind and containing information about Crimea. We have made it so positive and good so that all people could read it and get inspired, meaning could switch to a wave of good. Because what we see in media today is what tomorrow will be like. That is why it is important to have as much goodness and inspiration, as many good examples as possible in modern media. More information that broadens one's outlook. When I saw that guys made a newspaper gommel and opened it in PDF format, I liked it so much. It is so honest and positive. And an understanding came that we can publish such a newspaper in Kazakhstan too. Newspaper is another great project that helps to disseminate the primordial knowledge. I work in the sphere of graphic design printing industry, which is why my skills were useful for creation of this newspaper. I am glad to share with everyone who is interested to help them master the programs needed for the creation of a newspaper. And doing all this while making the first issue, I understood that I got to learn more because there are participants who are more knowledgeable in this area. Like-minded friends showed us how to work in the InDesign program to arrange the newspaper, prepare articles, work on illustrations. It is very creative and interesting process. And it really pulls one in. You sit down to do something and you simply disappear for three hours. Hands are working, consciousness is busy with good work while you simply live all this time. A huge thanks to all participants for their commitment, for being ready to build and create. It is so great when there are a lot of people. Now we've already published the newspaper. But before that we used to read it on the computer. And I feel such gratitude to those people who have put so much work in. And there is such a great desire to learn everything. I'm so into all of this. We're all into it. The guys all work together so well. We didn't have any disagreements or conflicts. It all went great. flowed from one person to another, like a wave. And it is really important not to limit yourself, and then everything will work out. When you communicate with people from different countries, America, Ireland, Belarus, Russia, you get confirmation of what is said in the knowledge, in the books and what Igor Mihalish talks about in the programs. That totally regardless of your nationality, what country you are from, by and large, all people are the same inside. 
Everyone thinks exactly the same way and wants absolutely the same things. That's the aspiration for good is precisely the same in everyone and doesn't depend at all on person's location and nationality. You really feel this when you start working, when you connect with five countries and with different people during the day and everyone does the same thing. They think the same way and they want the same thing. And everyone has the same aspiration. When I watched the new program from the atheist to holiness, I understood once again the role that information plays, the important role that is played by each person taking responsibility at his or her place, what a person conveys and transmits to the world. After all, everything we do today creates our tomorrow, and altogether it creates, one may say, the fate of civilization and history. And how important it is to understand that purity and inner sincerity, everything we convey to the world, is so important. It is not about just one day or some article that we've just read and forgotten. After all, if you think globally, this is what we leave after ourselves. What future generations will come in contact with, what they will live by, and how they will live. And it is very important to understand that everything we do, even starting with this small picture, with the article, this is what goes on to people and what response it will find, what it will awaken in a person and what a person grows within himself. It's an honor to bring this knowledge to people in its purest form. Our newspaper is like a tool through which or with the help of which I can pass this on. Thanks to the activities of socially responsible people, the nationwide project Alatra Journalism is constantly gaining momentum and spreading throughout the world by means of promotion of creative good news. Creative journalism aims to unify the world community in a single aspiration, the spiritual and moral revival of humanity. I was introduced to the knowledge of Alatra quite recently, in February. The program Consciousness and Personality, from the inevitably dead to the eternally alive, impressed me to the core of my soul. I got the key to what I had studied earlier, what I had read, what I was moving towards and striving for. This information had so impressed me that I just started to devour all the programs on Alatra TV, read articles, reviews, and watch live vlogs. That is, there was such a filling up that it was overflowing and trying to get outside. Seeing in the reviews that there were newspapers published in English, I saw that the participants of the Alatra IPM in Gomel created the newspaper and were distributing it. And I got an idea of the newspaper, Good is Where You Are, but in Ukrainian. My profession is far from journalistic or any kind of publishing at all, so I didn't understand how and what to do. So I contacted the coordination center. Of course, they responded immediately and said that the main thing was for me to choose information and articles which I would like to translate and the guys would help me with the layout and everything else. I started translating. When I translated a significant part of the article, a participant from the coordination center with whom I had spoken and who helped me with information about the newspaper said that there were participants as well from Lvov who also had an idea to create a newspaper in Ukrainian. These are Olenka from Lvov and Svetlana from Stry. Naturally, we connected, the desire was mutual, and we joined forces. Olenka had already done the translations also, has been actively participating, and was very fast at doing everything. She even tried doing the layout herself. The newspaper came out, and we published it. 
and we dispersed it to different cities of Western Ukraine, Lvov, Stry, Chernivtsi, and Ivano-Frankivsk. In the process of creating this newspaper and communicating with the others, I've got a deeper understanding of the whole process. And now I perceive programs that are broadcast on Alatra TV completely differently. I understand the guys, this association of people who are fired up by a common idea, and somehow it all happens easily, without any obstacles. If we compare any associations or joint projects, even in terms of work, before, when I worked in teams, it was a bit different. There were evaluations, who did more, who got what for, something like that. And there were always some unpleasant moments, but there is no such thing here. Everybody does it voluntarily, with desire, with love. I saw young people whose eyes are shining, glowing. They're filled with something so good and kind that you don't see on the street when you look at young people. I was very happy to work with such people and take part in this process. And there was another thing I noted for myself, that actually unification by a common cause exists in society. But these associations seem to be aimed at unity, but also at separation. That is, they unite, but separate themselves from other associations. While here, I see that all people are united. There is no unity with division. Different ages, different professions, different people are united by the desire to spread spiritual knowledge, spirituality, raise spirituality to the highest level and introduce it into society. This is probably the only association that really moves towards unification. You can't say it any other way. Have you noticed how many different fairs are taking place in our yes. city? Yes, and by the way, not just here. So, for example, the guys from Angorax sent the news that they had a good deeds fair in the city. Come on, I'll show you. Wow, great, let's go. On October the 6th, 2018, the Good Deals Fair was held in the city of Angarsk and volunteers of the Alatra International Public Movement took part in it. The event was of a charitable nature, the participants presented their projects in various areas, and the main message of the fair was kindness and unity, assistance to society, unprotected categories and development of the younger generation. The fair participants, as well as the mayor of Angarsk, Sergei Petrov, shared their understanding of love and kindness. Kindness is probably the ability to share, the ability to understand and feel other people, the ability to live in their problems, to see the world through their eyes. If a person can do this, then this is probably a kind person. I do not understand what is true and what is untrue. Love is love. When you value a person more than yourself, 
This is probably love. Love is when it lives inside you and you feel like a complete person. You love yourself, you love others, you love the world that surrounds you, and you feel full. That is, I think, for a normal person, love is such a constant feeling that when you feel completeness, yes, natural and complete, that is, you do not feel the need to destroy something, offend someone, humiliate someone, break something. Just the opposite. You will fix, close, help, translate, buy, do whatever is needed. If we talk about spiritual values, I have traveled, visited many places and, you know, you meet different people, but there are more positive, good people, this is a fact, guys, that's for sure. So, you might speak different languages, but the smile, it says everything at once, and the most important thing is that you feel positivity, warmth, goodness coming from a person, and you can feel it, I think. Volunteers of the Alatra movement made their contribution to charity, donating books by Anastasia Novik to the fair participants, the mayor of the city, and the House of Culture, where the celebration took place. Great! It is precisely such events that unite caring people. It means that a lot of people are starting to wake up. Of course, because everyone feels this inner impulse towards unity, which gives rise to action. And this is good in action.